This woman thought she was too pretty to be arrested, but that was before she was charged with murder. This is 29-year-old Hen Bustami from Las Vegas. In August of last year, she was busted for skipping out on a bill at an airport Chili's. When cops caught up to her, she apparently told them she was too pretty to be arrested and then called them perverts who were only trying to arrest her because they wanted to her. Yikes. That excuse didn't work then and it definitely didn't work a few months later when she was arrested for murdering her own mother. Hend, who lived with her mother, 61-year-old Afaf Hasinin, apparently got into a fight over cigarettes. It ended with this 911 call. Do you need police, fire, or medical? Uh, medical. I think I killed my mommy. Why do you think you killed your mom? Because I did. This gruesome photo shows the crime scene. Hend apparently took a glass end table and smashed it over her mother's head and then stabbed her with these shards of glass. After that 911 call, Hen took off, but police eventually caught up to her in California where they found her covered in blood with cuts on her hands. This all happened in the fall of 2022, but just recently, Hen learned her fate. She's going to spend the next 15 years to life in prison. Hen pled guilty as part of a plea deal that said she was mentally ill although she had been previously found competent to stand trial. One thing is clear from all this, the United States is in the middle of a mental health crisis. An estimated 26% of adults in our country, or roughly one out of four people, suffer from a diagnosable mental health disorder. But because our healthcare system is built to make profit and return value to shareholders, not actually to help people, 56% of those people receive no treatment. Don't worry though, insurance companies are making record-setting profits. According to the New York Times, the pandemic was an absolute goldmine for them. While last year, America's largest health insurers raked in more than $41 billion in profit. That is a staggering sum of money, especially considering that so many Americans are suffering and dying. Critics say this is just further proof of how rigged our capitalist healthcare system 